Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm glad you're with me. In this video, I'm gonna chat about a few new beauty things I picked up from Dollar Tree. Yes, that's where everything in the store is $1.25. So I got a handful of new beauty things. I didn't go there like, I'm gonna do a full face of Dollar Tree. I was there with my kids and I really wanted to look at the Christmas stuff. And you know, we just picked up some really random everyday things. And when I went through the beauty aisles and beauty sections, I just found some things that were kind of like, oh, surprise to me. I thought I'd pick them up. There's just a handful of them, but I thought I'd integrate them into my full face today, which will be otherwise just drugstore. But Dollar Tree really can be a nice little oasis of some great beauty finds. They've got some brands that within the last year have become more prominent there that are truly really, really good. So it's definitely a store worth checking out from time to time and just browsing those beauty aisles. So the first thing I got here, this little stainless steel roller. This is so cute. This is from the brand Be Pure and the packaging looks all special. I have a small roller that's about this size that I think I got from ColourPop a while back and I thought I would like give this to the girls and they could keep it in the makeup fridge. It's little and it's weighty. Oh, even without being in the makeup fridge, it feels nice and cooling just as is. Love that. Okay, that's really nice. And they also had these little like cooling wands in just the same size of box, like two little ceramic, I think they were, um, cooling eye wands that you could get. But I love this little roller. Oh, it's amazingly cool just at room temp, you know? Very enjoyable, very nice to go over the eyes and wake them up to start the day. So just FYI, those are out there at your Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna get started with my complexion stuff. Um, my first few things here, just my coverage products are not new. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator, which I wear in, it's light. I know it's light, but where does it say it? There, light. <laughs> this is one of my favorite like tinted moisturizer kinds of products. Um, just because it is that way, that doesn't mean like, oh, I'm not using any moisturizer. I still do my usual skincare, but this just gives me a light bit of extra moisture and um, some kind of light to medium coverage actually. So I'm just gonna blend this in with my e.l.f. Duo brush. And as I tap it in on the skin, you'll see it does have some kind of foundation-like coverage and the skin will just look so radiant when you're done blending it in. Coverage products would probably be the element of makeup where I feel like it's hardest to come by what you need at Dollar Tree. It could be much more hit and miss. I found like a random powder there um, at times. They'll have a foundation or two, but it won't be like a full shade range type of deal. You never know really with that stuff, but where eyes, lips, cheek products, nails, tools, lashes. It used to be so rare for me to find those kinds of things at my Dollar Tree. Like it was just a small little section and they might have some nail polishes or they might have a random lip gloss, but they've really expanded within the last year, I think. I just think beauty has become much more popular at Dollar Tree. So we're just getting that all blended in. It's super easy to blend. That's definitely one of my key beginner friendly products. If you're just starting out with makeup and you're thinking what can give me just that light to medium coverage, a little extra moisture and be incredibly easy to blend out and just look really natural all over, this is it. And then we're gonna really pay attention to the eye area and I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener, which I wear in Fair. And this is incredibly comparable to the Becca. Push into the product, especially initially when you get it and you'll kind of unlock that creaminess that the Becca has as well. So I just dab that into the innermost corner of my eye and also the outer part too. And I'll dab that around with my e.l.f. duo brush. Again, just same brush. And this also did not come from Dollar Tree. I'm just building the base. And I like to sort of press over that step because it is rather rich and creamy and I like to make sure it's truly getting a good blend because my concealer doesn't end there. I usually go over it with another skin tone concealer. One that I find works really nicely with that product is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I wear vanilla. This is just a lovely concealer and I do a little dot there, a little bit out here, and then tackle any other spots on the face where you have a little redness, a little breakout, whatever. And then we do our spreading step. <laughs> if this is base makeup for beginners, this is what I do, guys. I just spread it out, make the small dot take up more room. I kind of make it come down the side of the nose and out. And we're using the small part of the brush. 
sometimes I find if I'm in a big hurry, I don't always stop and do this, but I do truly love the effect so much more when I do, so it's really worth taking that time. And then I take the larger end of the brush and dab it right in. If I were in a rush, I might just immediately go to that larger side and just start pressing in, but this takes advantage of the coverage that product can provide so much better. Look at us, we're nicely hydrated, we're brightened up and covered on the under eye area. Now all I need to do is really just take some powder, some setting powder up on there. And I think my coffee might be just cooled down enough to drink. You know what's happening, we're using our Maybelline Fit Me Drugstore Gym. I've really gotten into it here these last few months it feels like. This has a level of brightness that my other powders can't quite compete with. I have no shortage of excellent powder formulas that will wear well and look good on my under eye area, but this gives that added brightness plus the excellent wear. Like I'll look at this under eye later in the day and I got stuff going on, you know, I got a Christmas concert to go to tonight. And I know this makeup will stay in place for that. The goal for me is always having the under eye look the same as when I started later in the day. Again, these are not Dollar Tree steps, but I just kind of thought it would be interesting for you to see the whole look come together. Hi kitten. Hi Miss Biscuits. How are you? That does so much for my look. That added mattification there on the under eye area really perfects things. Love that. Take a little additional powder because I'm kind of dewy on the cheeks and I want the whole face pretty well set. So go into any powder that might be more of a skin tone match for you. This L'Oreal Infallible in the True Beige shade is a pretty good match. I find it's not as bright as what I put on the under eye and that's kind of the way I want it. And I'm just getting tiny bits on my brush and dabbing on the bare minimum until my face doesn't feel that tackiness anymore. Okay, that'll do. I promise we will get to some new Dollar Tree things, but the bronzer I'm going to use actually came from a previous Dollar Tree trip, I believe. I'm trying to think, was this Dollar General? Because Dollar General does a lot of LA colors, but no, I believe this was Dollar Tree. Um, the LA Colors Matte Bronzer and Bronzed Beauty, really good bronzer here. Getting a decent sized pan of product, and it is matte. And I'm just going to take that around the hairline. I do have a new blush to use that I'm very excited about. This is a nice light bronzer. It kind of reminds me of the lightest shade of Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. If you want to know the intensity level. Definitely showing. I'm going to use it for a little bit of contour. Things can kind of vary greatly between Dollar Tree stores, I find. Sometimes I'll talk about something I saw and somebody will say, oh, I've never seen that. Or I'll watch somebody on TikTok talk about a bunch of stuff and I can't find it where I live. So it does vary. When I talk about things at Dollar General, um, that's where not everything is a dollar, but you know, it's kind of just a little pared down, has everything type of store. They tend to carry more consistent beauty brands there. Like you will find a certain selection of CoverGirl, of Maybelline. They'll have their Believe Beauty range. They'll have a good amount of LA colors. I'm taking some of this down the neck as well. I'm getting a nice little soft and gentle contour out of this product. It can be tempting to just build and build, but um, ooh, I'm loving what I'm achieving. In our town, we're actually going to soon be getting, and I don't know how this is going to work exactly, but we're getting a combo Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. Anybody else have one of those where they live? Like the sign says both. Let me show you this gorgeous blush that I came up with just this past time. This is one of the new things. This is from the brand called Starry. Um, quick side note, does anybody remember the website Cherry Culture? cherryculture.com. Back in my apartment days, I remember people getting on YouTube, showing their cherry culture hauls. It was like a website that carried NYX and other random affordable brands. I think I remember a brand called Starry being one of them. Now Dollar Tree just had this section, a little box like at the bottom of the display of these blushes. And it says precious mineral, lightweight, long lasting, smooth finish blush. And this one is shade 08 natural glow. You can see it's kind of a cool pink spectrum 
speckled with coral. There were several different shades, and if I like this, I may go back and find some more. It has a beautiful kind of luminous sheen. I was trying to determine the other day if some of those speckles were an overspray. I feel like maybe they might be. <laughs> But I still think the finish of this blush looks like a kind of luxurious luminous blush. It doesn't look like it's going to be frosty and chunky. It looks like it's really going to be smooth. So even if some of these speckles fade away are not speckled to the core of this blush, I still think I may like it a lot. So I'm going to dab into that with my e.l.f. blush brush. This is my first time using this. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yes. I didn't know if it was going to show with that much color because the swatch was kind of light, but I'm seeing a beautiful sheen there. Really nice. Like, how is it giving that much richness? I think some of these speckles are not overspray. Maybe I was just kind of able to rub some of the more surface level ones away, but I think they're offering color. This is pretty, you guys. And you can see the sheen is, is gentle but it's there. I'm liking it. I haven't heard anybody else talk about these yet, but that's the kind of thing I would go back for and, and maybe try something else from. Really, really nice blush if you're a fan of a glowy blush. Okay, thumbs up. So, so far the new stuff. We love the roller. We love the starry blush. Um, and then another new thing I saw is this LA Colors Too Cheeky Highlighter. So a little liquid highlighter thing going on here. This is the shade called Enchanted. All right, so let's swatch it out. It just looks like a lip gloss type of doe foot here. Looks really pretty, like maybe a hint of rose gold, a lot of reflectivity there. Let's just pick some up with the finger and dab. Ooh. Really nice. If I get very close, I can see some little sparkle particles, but frankly, it's fairly natural looking. You see where I'm just tapping that in and having this great glow? Just with the finger. A brush would be fine too, I think. I'm just taking what I dabbed off on my hand. Oh, it's nice. Really good. Okay. I'll put a little bit up here on the forehead. Just pressing it in. Oh my gosh. It's so fun to find a little $1.25 hidden gem. So basically, yeah, the color products on my face are brought to you by Dollar Tree. This was a Dollar Tree product. These are my newer things. LA Colors just fascinates me because it's like they got their stuff that you're always gonna see at Dollar General and then you're gonna go to Dollar Tree and you're gonna see some totally different things that they don't offer <laughs> at the DG. Alrighty, so I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do a quick brow. I'll use my LA Colors brow pencil. This I believe is a Dollar General product, but who knows, you might find it at Dollar Tree too. This is in the shade, by the way, medium. And it's just a very classic pencil. And it has a little brush on the opposite end. And yeah, she can do the work. Not too dry, not too mushy and soft. Um, Dollar Tree, by the way, has a ton of cute Christmassy things. Like I've pretty much got the house all decorated like I, I wasn't hurting for decorations but cute little things to like hang on a door uh, little like signs and stuff tons of stockings when I get into stocking stuff for a time I will definitely be going back the bags and wrapping paper it's a great place to find your bags and bows lots of candy we picked up something we always find it just Dollar Tree these little peppermint spoons or milk chocolate spoons that you can use in your hot chocolate they're adorable and they would be great in like a little gift basket if you were making something like that for someone also they had the cutest little like light up houses so when we were at the library the day before the librarians did the cutest little like snowy winter village you know how people get those ceramic houses mom always did this up on the mantle too you'd have like these little town snowy houses and they light up and at the library they put kind of like a puffy snow all around and he just was enamored by that display on the top of a bookshelf that he found and when we got to Dollar Tree they had a much cheaper <laughs> version of those houses um, but you know about the same size same look but they're plastic but you put a couple triple a's in and they light up and honestly it was perfect because I don't really want him playing with a bunch of little ceramic houses but these are things like I kind of just sit him up on the table while he's eating and 
he gets a lot of enjoyment out of that. There's a little fire station and a little bed and breakfast. And I think there might have been one more option. But it's $1.25, you know, it's kid friendly. They were loaded on like fuzzy socks, fuzzy Christmas socks. I am just brushing through these brows. The color here might be a little bit light for me, but we make it work. And then I'm gonna use a little Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt on top of that. And we will be using a little eyeshadow palette that comes to us from Dollar Tree that's new. I heard Rachel on TikTok talking about these. I know that probably doesn't get specific enough for you, so I'll probably have to look her up and link her below. Oh, Rachel, oh yes. That really points us in the right direction, Em. I'm just impressed I remember the names, you know? So often on TikTok, it's hard to even remember a name. And I think it's just the nature of TikTok is like you're scrolling and they just give you somebody to look at, you know? It's not like you always seek out necessarily every person you see. I'm just trying to fluff them up a little bit and kind of make my colors mix because the Brow Fast Sculpt shade is really perfect for me and the brow color was just a little light, but it all worked. I'm going to use Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Those little cooling rollers would be an amazing stocking stuffer. Don't you feel like if you're a mom doing stockings for kids, they kind of come to expect a certain type of thing in the stocking, but you throw in a cooling eye roller and it's like, oh... <laughs> Things have changed this year. I'm gonna probably buy some more of those. The two little wands looked fun too. So this is the little eyeshadow palette that I've seen some raves on. I wanted to keep it in the packaging so you could kind of know how to identify it. Six color eyeshadow from LA Colors. It says crease proof color all day wear. And this looks like a very basic everyday type of look here. The shade is called Oat. <laughs> Not like O-A-T, but H-A-U-T-E. <laughs> so small palette, you do get a uh, sponge tip applicator. So your shimmers are right here and your mattes are everywhere else. So it's a nice basic gradient of mattes. Um, and I like that it's mostly matte. And as I put my finger into them, they're soft. There's a shimmer there on my pinky, couple of mattes there. How's the deepest matte? Feels nice and soft. Hmm, okay. Let's do it, friends. Let's go into this shade right here up top and just get some nice natural color going. When you're doing makeup videos, yes, everyone knows. Like, you're talking about what you're using. Everybody knows, oh, was it a really expensive look? Was it a cheap look? But the moment you go out into everyday life, people don't know, okay? People don't know that your eyeshadow palette cost $1.25. And frankly, I think that's impressive if it does and you're pulling it off. This is nice. Smooth, easy, just exactly what I expected it would be. Just a light, very soft crease there for me. Okay, and then I feel like the shade next to it, just a little bit deeper. Let's add it in. Mm-hmm. No problem. No problem, no struggle. Awesome. Okay, I've got a great matte cream. Nice little basic here. I mean, what? How is this just $1.25? And with these kinds of tones, the look can be quick. I'm flying through this. I want to do this matte brown with a flat brush. Okay, so that shade is not coming off on the eye. It's the matte brown. It's not coming off on the eye as dark as I would like. For a natural look, it's fine, but just note that. I guess, I don't know, from a distance here, that shade looks like it's dark, but you get close up and I look at it in person, it doesn't look all that dark in the palette, I suppose. What about some of this shimmery brown here? Okay, that's got a bit more richness, actually. It's not wanting to apply directly over top of that matte super well, but we're gonna make it. Yeah, we kind of switched gears here and we're applying the shimmery brown all over the outer lid. And it's just kind of a swiping motion that we're taking with it. It does just have more pigment and looks a little darker. And it is creating a little bit of fallout. Oop, small drawback. I'm gonna dust some of that away. It's dusting away no problem, but just watch for that. Then I'm gonna take my small pointed brush back into my darkest um, shimmer over here. I don't want this sort of jump off look where, oh, suddenly we have this shimmery crease, you know? All in all, I'm highly impressed. You gotta always keep in mind, like, what did you spend? And what is the look turning out? I think they had kind of a berry-looking compact, too. This was just the one I knew I'd heard spoken of. We just really used that dark brown shimmer and took it up all over. 
and it looks really good that way. I might go back to my crease brush and just buff out the edge a bit more. It's probably still got some of those mattes on there. And I could go down to my dark brown, or my seemingly dark matte brown. Super duper, everyday friendly, easy eye. I still haven't popped in the lighter shimmer. So for that, I'm just going to use the little sponge tip. Oh my gosh, it's so like foiled looking. Like a really frosty taupe. Sorry, I had to adjust my camera a bit there, but I am so pleased with how smooth, how finished this whole look is um, with that little pop of shimmer there on the lid. We could take a little shadow down on the lower lash line because this is the only real eye product I'm working with here. I'm going to go to the matte. Just a little of that. I don't want to go too hard with eyeshadow down here because again I need this to be a very good all day wearing look. But I think that's absolutely great. What I figured out was that the dark shimmer is actually going to be your best option for like creating contrast and it can look really pretty as it shears out also. Patting on the outer lid, shearing out up into the crease, using the mid-tones as your transition, having that taupey pop on the lid, it's great. Then I'm going to do some liner. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Maryland collection. This is a combo felt tip and brush tip eyeliner. And I'm just going to go right along my upper lash line with a really thin line. Just like so. I'm going to pop on a little mascara here. This is nothing new. This is my Maybelline the Falsy Surreal Lash. Okay, so there's our mascara on. Love that look. Um, and then the last thing I got that was new from Dollar Tree, I picked up another one of these Ioni lash glues. Look at this packaging. It's got like butterflies all over it. If you find Ioni stuff, like take note. This thing called Everlasting Lash Glue is amazing. It's 100% vegan, fast drying, gentle, latex free, long lasting. I can vouch for the fact that it does not irritate my lash line at all. But I got a little panic because I was looking looking for this type of tube and it used to be like in a green box and now it was like this. But no, they had it. They had plenty of them. So I just picked up a backup there. I still have another couple backups. It's just kind of one of those things for a buck 25. I think I'm going to pick one up anytime I'm in the store. So I'm not doing the false lashes today, at least maybe not yet. Maybe I'll pop some on before the little Christmas thing. But I am going to throw a little drugstore lip together for you. This is my Superstay Matte Ink Crayon in the shade Chase Dreams. It's not my deepest berry. I have a deeper one called called Accept a Dare. It's a little bit darker, but I wore this to church yesterday and I thought, oh, it, it looks so pretty. But I want to pop on top of it. This may be something you can, why is there a hair on there? This may be something you can find at Dollar Tree, but I definitely find it at Dollar General always. It's the moisturizing lip gloss and this is the shade Tickled Pink. So with Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Crayons, you get the best staying power out of these when you wear these and these alone. I mean, no balmy base and no gloss on top. Like, then they will really be locked in for you. But when you start making combos out of them, it does affect the staying power. But if you really want a glossy finish, you know, that's that's a risk you're going to take, right? But I just wanted to point that out. I did a TikTok recently with a little lip combo, and I thought, well, you know, this, the matte ink crayons do not wear as well when you start mixing other things in but I'm willing to reapply. Look how pretty this shade is. And I'm not saying I couldn't have found new, a new lip product at Dollar Tree this time around. I wasn't like finding makeup for a video or really in there with a purpose. I just picked up a few things that really interested me. I could have found a full face if I wanted to. Mm, love that shade so much. And then these are great for popping that little bit of shimmer. The other color is called Topaz that I have, and it makes a great contrast with lip colors as well. But what I'm seeing a lot of people doing these days is not necessarily just wearing gloss for the pop on the lower lip, but like wearing a full shimmery gloss all over the entire lips. So I'm going to try that today with this. And these glosses feel so good. Perfect gloss texture. 
dazzling. Not like cheesy frosty, but it definitely makes the shine look even more wow. And what I like about a matte ink crayon is that they do start to set so they're not like coming off on whatever gloss you put on top. So that's my look today, friends. Just trying out a few new things. I think the cheeks are absolutely glowing. I am really happy with everything I got from Dollar Tree from the roller. That was product number one. We got this, which we know is like a must have. The little LA Colors six pan palette was really nice for just an everyday look. Beware of fallout on the dark brown shimmer, but I thought it worked quite well for me today. And my biggest new hits, like I enjoy both of these, this starry blush, I will be seeking out more of these. It gave me a surprising amount of color. Compared to the way it looked in my swatch, I felt like I just saw a lot on my cheeks, a really beautiful kind of classy shimmer finish. And then this is a fun little liquid highlighter. Again, it's called Too Cheeky from LA Colors and my shade is Enchanted. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm always eager to hear what things you found at Dollar Tree that you love, even if it's non-beauty related, like let us know. Is there some kind of essential that you always pick up there? Let me know in the comments and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.